Let's take a look at liquify and distort. It is a fun and exciting tool. Okay, and we're going to use different techniques of liquify tool as well. Let's get in the air and learn the liquify tool. So first thing first, you need to take some background, something like this, um, blue light, blue background. I'm going to grab the rectangle tool and okay, not too worried about the fill and stroke at the moment. It is going to be my ice cream right now. I'm going to use this direct selection tool, select these two, and we'll make them curve like so. And here in the bottom, I'll have a stick for my ice cream. Use the direct selection tool. We'll align them like so. Okay. And we'll do a little bit of curve at the edge of this as well. So I'm going to select these two points. And we get a little curvy. I'll zoom out and okay so I've got a line and straight up down like this at the center because I need to make a cut in between this shape and align them to center if they're not and let's find my tool that is shape builder where's the shape builder here okay so I'm going to do a couple of things first um, minus these ends off cut hold alt and cut and then I'm going to fill these bits with uh, color so I'm going to fill option here. Let's go to color mixer. And just select some color here and go to color mixer. Okay, color mixer. I'm looking for something chocolatey. So something like this would work. OK. Now click on here. Now I'm going to do a slightly darker color. Click on here and just increase the K value that will give me a slightly darker tone. So click here and there I have my Cadbury. Another way of doing this is you can go to click here HSB and you can increase and decrease the brightness as well. That will be a much easier option here. Okay, so here I'm going to choose some wooden color. Let's just go and select some light wood, change the hue, and choose some yellow, something like this. Okay, click here. And that color is not so good, so I'm going to take down the saturation, click. And uh, yeah, maybe that's something that will work for me. So I'm going to change the fill now, take it a little darker, click here. And uh, there I have my fill color down here. So I'm going to select the whole object and then go to strokes and give none. So I have this pretty looking ice cream here. That's going to be my popsicle. Cola flavor or chocolate flavor, whatever you like. And I'm going to make a few version of these. Now I'm going to rotate it. Hold shift and just single here. It's way too much. I'll just 
a rotate use the rotate tool with 30 degree it's fine okay I wanted it that way so control Z minus 30 degree okay Now I'm going to copy this holding alt use the selection tool I'm going to just make a little bit smaller here okay so hold alt copy this and I'm going to press control D to duplicate and I'm going to select all of these and hold alt and drag to make one more copy okay so they are total 6 in total and we have here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We need one more. So I'm gonna take one more copy and put it right there. Select all these, arrange them like so. And there, I'm set. Now to access the liquify tool, you need to go in here. Below the width tool, all these are liquify tools now we're going to start with the warp tool you can use the shortcut for shift R I'm going to double click here and we have the properties here you can change the brush size angle intensity and we have the warp options here how much detail do I want here how much simplifying the warping I want you can change here you can also use the pressure pen in case you have a pen tablet or something I'm going to give OK and click. So this way you can just distort and warp the shape. Click and drag and you can. You can also do Alt and Shift and right, sorry, left mouse button. And you can increase and decrease the brush size like so. So you can distort the shape using the warp tool, like so. Next, we have the tour tool. Have the same options here. I'll just decrease the twirl rate because it's already way too strong a tool. And let's get twirl, and that's how it works. Twirl tool. I'm just gonna bring down the brush size and do it on the edges. So that is your twirl tool okay double click and maybe I'll simplify it further and let's check out what simplify does just lessen down the anchor points here okay undo these twirls let's simplify it down make it zero and let's check what happens now happens in very edgy manner yeah uh, let's have increasing the detail so let's check what happens now will increase way too many details I don't like the look of this I'm gonna just give a simply 500 and then let's check it out yeah, it's okay okay let's move on with the next tool that is the pucker tool it will just make things smaller I'm just gonna increase the brush size and there I can just make things way too smaller like so, so that's the pucker tool the bloat tool will do the opposite of pucker it will expand things let me select this pucker oh, sorry bloat it will increase this and blow out the things into proportions so that's your blow tool but make sure if you have like less of this white space then it will go inside if you some of the object it will go outside here it goes outside but if you do it from the outside it goes inside so it works both ways here If a scallop tool, it will give spiky look 
to this ice cream. Let's check out. And I'm gonna select this ice cream. Go to scale up tool, and it gave me the spikes. Double click here. I can change the complexity, intensity, and all this. Okay, click, and it goes like so. Crystallize is pretty much the same look, but subtle working than that. Let's say I'll increase the complexity to six, and let's see how that gives way too many spikes. Wow, interesting tool. So you can imagine what you can create out of this, a lot of things. Now, next we have is the wrinkle tool. Let's try this wrinkle and it will melt the ice cream like so. So now take a look. The longer you hold, more prominent the effect is. So this is more prominent when you longer hold hold long time here. So I'm gonna give detail more. In case you don't want to hold longer, just one click and you are good to go. And there you have your effect. So you can just give this to everything here. It will go on stretching till it touches the edge of the brush. There you have your liquify and distort effects. Let's check it out if this works on the text here. Let's try this out. And it must be converted to outlines before being used. So we're going to go and create outlines. Now it will work. So let's say I want to make this a liquidy text. So I'm going to go ahead and use the troll tool, make the brush smaller using Alt and Shift. Okay, so I need a little smaller brush more. Make sure I need to keep this intact and then use it. Reset was the fine option here, so just bring down the brush size. That is it. We click and the brush size would be 10 by 10. Okay. Okay. This can work. Reset, roll rate, I'll bring it down to 10 degree. My brush was 10 by 10. Intensity maybe 20. I'm gonna give okay. And slowly it is giving me the twirl. Also, I can drag this out like so. So, this stays intact and I can create my effect like so. So, that looks liquidy, yeah. So I can give this kind of a character, a liquidy like character to this font. I'm sure this can be done better, but if you spend more time, it's going to create much more better artwork as always more time spent on the artwork, the much better and beautiful output. Anyway, this is not that good looking, but you get the gist of it. This can be applied on uh, text and it can be given certain effect like this. Say gas. Let's try bloat tool here.
I'll increase this and yeah it looks bloated up that's gas gas is in state yeah it looks like gassy but it ruins the character of the uh, font here let's say I want something solid what would you create a solid for uh, let's try this scale up here and Yeah, so you can work out on fonts as well and create maybe create your own font sometime. So that's your liquify and distort.